Hi everybody, marhaban. This is Yusra Kafal, and I'm going to be your Arabic instructor. I'm going to teach you how to read, write, and speak Arabic. Um, if you are a beginner or you've never ever had Arabic before, then these series are just for you. However, when people hear Arabic, and they see our alphabet, they think that it's such a crazy language, and no, it's nothing like that. So, to start off, this video is, this video in particular is about um, writing Arabic, and before I tell you more about it, I just wanted to show you that our alphabet aren't that bad, and here they are, not not too complicated. Once you know these letters, then you pretty much can read and write anything in Arabic because we don't have any hidden or silent letters. So once you get these down, then you're good. Um, let me play this little song for you. It's a really cool app on the phone and uh, it's just a cool alphabet song. I don't expect you to know any of the letters, but I just wanted you to hear it. There you go. <laughs> First letter. باء بطة نطة نطة باء نطة Yep, and it goes on to the rest of the alphabet. This this app is called Abjad, A-B-J-A-D. So, um, let's get started. We are going to start with the vowels in Arabic. We don't have that many. And once we know the vowels, then we can move on to the consonants or regular letters of the alphabet. So for our first lesson, I'm going to start with um, Alif, which is our the first letter of the alphabet. And uh, if you've never seen an Alif before, this is what it looks like. I've got the alif right here. It's basically a straight line with a tiny little s over it. And that little s, it's called ham hamza. And this alif here, which looks just like that, is pronounced a. Ah. So, for example, I wrote this word in Arabic here, and this is a transliteration for it. So, arnab, arnab which starts with an alif, and the alif sounds like ah, so arnab, that's a short A vowel. And by the way, we go from right to left in Arabic, so um, this is the start, this is the beginning of this word right here, ah, ah, arnab, that's the first vowel. Um, however, we've got some alifs that do not have the hamza over them, so it's just that line. It's like a straight line right there, or it looks like a one. That's also an alif, but this alif is the long A. It's pronounced ah, as in jam, ham. It's the ah sound. Um, Okay, for example, nar, 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 we open our mouth like there's a double A, and the alif is actually attached to the letter in front of it. It's attached to the N, so nar, we've got an alif in the middle, and then kitab, 
Kitab that also has an alif in the middle and it's attached to the letter in front of it, which is the T. Ta, Kitab, Kitab. Now notice one thing over here. Naji and Rami. Naji, Rami. Those are boys' names. And both of them have an alif um, in the middle. But this first alif, which is attached to the N, the noon, and the second alif is not attached to the R in front of it. And that's because, as you will learn later, the R does not attach to any letters that come after it. Therefore, the alif just stands on its own right here. Another thing you should know is that the alif um, can be attached to the letter that comes before it, but any other letter that come right after it are not attached to it. They are not connected. There's always this, there is always a space between them. Same I mean, in both these examples, as you can see. Um, there's a space right after the alif. That's because the letter cannot be attached to it. Same thing with kitab. Right here. And the example after it, nar. Okay. So, in conclusion, there are three ways to write alif. First is alif with the hamza, and that's the beginning of a word. Uh, second way is the alif without the hamza and it's in the middle of the word and it's not attached it just looks like one the third way is also the alif without a hamza but there's a tiny little line coming um, right before it and that means that there's a letter that it's connected to it or is attached to it so all these three are Alif, Alif, the long A, ah, another ah, both of them sound like ah, but the top one with the Hamza is a short A and it just sounds like ah, 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 ah. Okay, so that's the Alif part, which is the long or short A. However, we do have a sh another short A vowel. And it's called alif maksura, which literally means the broken alif. So this is what it looks like right here. And that's the alif maksura. And it's also a short A. But the difference is that this alif maksura always, always, always comes at the end of the word. And it is either attached or not attached. For example, um, salwa, salwa, the A at the end of salwa is this alif maksura, and it's not attached to the letter that comes before it. In the second example, layla, layla, has another alif maksura at the end of the word, but this time it's attached to the L the lamb that comes right in front of it. So both of them are um, alif maksura, alif maksura, not attached, attached. Both pronounced a, ah, a, ah, short a, sal, wa, lay, la. Therefore, we have two short a's. We've got the alif with the hamza, and we've got the alif maksura, which is always at the end of the word. For example, Muna, which is a girl's name, Muna. So the A at the end of the word is the alif maksura. And the alif with the hamza here at the beginning of the word is also an A, Asad. Asad. So it's the A in the beginning, Asad, which means lion. A lion. So, Asad and Muna. Asad, Muna. Both of them have short A's. Asad has a short A at the beginning of the word and it's the Alif with the Hamza. 
Muna also has a short A, but it's at the end of the word, and it's the Alif Maksura. If this looks a little bit confusing, um, don't be confused because it's really simple. And we're going to start the lesson here in the book, which is just about the Alif and the Alif Maksura. So this way you'll have more practice and more understanding of the short vowel, the alif. All right, let's get started with this first exercise here. If you have this book, um, please have it ready and work with me as I go, as I go along these exercises with you. Um, first exercise. أسمع الكلمة ثم أصفق عندما أسمع صوت ألف. So I'm going to read all these words for you, and I need you to clap every time you hear the ألف sound, which really sounds like a um, or a long a, the a sound. So if you hear a word that has an a in it or two a's. Then clap, starting with the first word. Waladun, Waladun, Binton, Binton, Majidun, Majidun, Colomon, Colomon, Kitabun, Kitabun. Ulumon, Ulumon. Second row. Sayaraton, Sayaraton. Alabon, Alabon. 